everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I'm about to dive into a 30 minute client session. I'm going to be sharing distance, energy healing, and psychic wisdom. The goals here are really interesting. We're going to be working with a higher self to do some energy healing for a business, attracting wealth, and doing a money forecast for 2022. Thank you so much to the client for booking this session. Really excited to see what comes up and to support you in this process. If any of you are interested in having me look into something in your own life, please explore booking a session with me. Go to abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I do sessions privately or publicly. I give you the option if you want to share. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. I'm going to read these goals out loud and then we're going to get started. So you say, I would like you to work with my higher self to do some healing to raise the vibration of my business. I would like to attract more wealth. Is there a money forecast for me for the rest of 2022? Okay. Just give me a moment here. Okay, so I'm connecting with your higher self. Raising the vibration of your business which is a very interesting energy. I would like to attract more wealth, okay? Because we're raising the vibration. We want to create more visibility. We want to lighten things up. We want to get things excited, get some money movement going on for you. And where do you stand financially for the rest of 2022? Okay. Yeah, sure. I'm going to relax now. Here we go. Tuning into your higher self, raising the vibration of your business, attracting more wealth. It's interesting because when I read your goals, and even right now I'm getting in the zone here, there's something really dense, okay? And it's not very um, clear what it means, what it's about. I just feel it right now. There's not a lot of detail. There's not a lot of color. There's not a lot of clarity. There's just like a blah, this dense. It's really hard to figure out how to remove it. And it seems to be a really big orb of energy. Are you kind of... Um, all right, I see your business is in an orb of energy. That's what your higher self is showing me. And this is not easy to break, to crack it, to get your business out of this. I don't know what caused this. You know, lots changing here in the economy right now. A lot's been changing over the last few years with COVID and everything. You guys know what I'm talking about. So we're going to figure this out, okay? Is we need some breathability. We need not only flow, like, like water and, and financial flow, but we need air. We need breathability here. Okay, I'm asking your higher self, what are we supposed to do? Because I feel like this orb has to break. I keep seeing it has to break, and I still haven't figured out how to do that yet. Something of you is going to be breaking out of a shell. You and your business are one, so you yourself are in a binding. You yourself are in a shell. You seem to know this. That must be why you're attracted to getting a session, because you're already intuitively working through the manifestation of yourself in the future. Basically, you're already intuitively working through this of you breaking out of a shell, which means your business is going to break out of a shell too, okay? That's actually good news. This shell is not um, an easy puzzle to solve, okay? But it might not have to be solved. It just might be something that happens. Uh, I'm still learning about it.
Okay, you're avoiding something as well. And, and it ha I feel like it has to do with an emotional connection. <sighs> I, I'm not quite understanding it fully yet. Again, there's some neutrality. There's It's unclear. There's not a lot of um, crystal clear detail, so I can't give you specifics yet. Right now, I'm looking at the orb. I'm looking at your business. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at ideas that break you out. I'm looking at the neutrality. How do we add feelings to this? All right, I'm going to have to work with the next thing that comes, which there's this major... It's almost like we've been drifting through the nothingness. And there's no ground to stand on. There's just this very long and drawn out drifting sensation. And nowhere to go. Nothing to land upon. Nowhere to grow things. You're just literally drifting. You're like a piece of driftwood in the ocean. Where's your purpose? Where does the driftwood um, have purpose? But the problem is in how you see yourself or see your your business value seems to be the thing you're raising the vibration of this right now you're raising the vibration of how you see yourself and see your business and the value of it because there's this odd prolonged drift and that prolonged drift is creates a bit of a distortion in clarity okay and it feels like a long time Because what if this driftwood is actually like this massive, awesome, like pirate ship, you know, like this huge, neat, antique wood, super big, cool sails. What if it's not driftwood? What if it's a pirate ship or something like that? You know, something breathtaking, something like, whoa, no way. I just saw this, right? I feel like you may have been deduced to some kind of driftwood scenario and you're actually a big awesome ship okay so we need to get your perception and you you see how this circulates back like so you 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 see your business and obviously you wouldn't see it as driftwood but somewhere in the drifting um, there's kind of a distortion of of your solid um, relationship with a business, which is a relationship with yourself. And something has been closed off here, okay? But you're breaking this down. You're already trying to break this down because really what's happening is we're transforming your vision or your relationship with it's become driftwood or it is driftwood or it's losing the value of itself or I'm losing the value in myself, something like this, okay? But we're turning it into what it really is. And that's this awesome ship, okay? that's ready to set sail and you are the captain of the ship. Um, you're all cored out. I mean, your spine is like in your throat, your, your whole, I don't know what's going on with your bone structure, but it's all confused. It's specifically the spine is through your face, okay, through your neck and through your chest and your spine is right there and it's very weird and you seem cored out like like your face is caved in, your chest is caved in. Again with the neutral, I feel Maybe that's a coping mechanism. Maybe that's a coping tool. Because if you were to feel disappointed, that's not really gonna, that's not gonna pave a way to success, is it? <laughs> so maybe neutrality. So instead of feeling disappointed, maybe you feel neutral and maybe hopeful in a neutral way because you're still the driftwood on the, t on the tide of the ocean. You still exist. <laughs> um, that's kind of what this is like, okay? 
Uh, so I'm trying to still looking at the strange bone structure, looking at you cord out, looking at wh where your feelings at, um, what is preventing us from being on the ship already? You're the captain. What? What's? Um, so let's ask your higher self. Okay, what is the next thing that we can do to really transform all this energy and really start to rebirth your business for you? Okay, because because that's what you're all about right now. You. It seems to me like this inevitable thing that you and divine time are reaching out for support support because you are ready for this because you are already achieving this and maybe you just simply needed some confirmation why is your higher self so kind of shy like your higher self seems quiet and far away um, represents a female energy and i see green colors a really pretty like um dress like like a like a disney princess dress but there's a lot of cream in it and then there's some like like um i guess parts of the dress that have really vibrant green okay and it kind of shimmers a bit it's pretty it's a ball gown it's a really pretty ball gown why is she so shy she's like the lady of the ball That's, that's part of the message. This is your higher self is presenting this. This is part of the message. What, what in the world would make like Cinderella or um, Beauty and the Beast or, you know, what in the world would make a Disney princess wearing the most beautiful dress ever made, the most beautiful woman ever thought up because she's a Disney princess. She's beautiful. She's... She's every um, like little girl's dream to grow up to be her, right? And why in the world would you be insecure and shy about yourself? Because I see that you look dashing, you look splendid, you look um, charming, enchanting, you look amazing, um, you look intriguing, um, but you're hiding yourself. You, you are straight up hiding yourself. I start to see this person is now like at a high school dance. And it's even more strange because she doesn't, she feels like, um, she, it's judgment. It's, I mean, now it, perhaps she's too pretty and too overdressed. Um, she's um, too old for high school. Like nobody's going to want her it's a judgment she doesn't fit in right she doesn't she screwed up again now she she did it she did it again she doesn't do anything right she never does anything right she keeps screwing everything up I, I see that there's this sort of, it's like, I want to just say it's a branch of a tree of your totality where it's like it's awkward. It's about high school, awkward dance, how are you presenting yourself, and then how do you feel welcomed by people. And then even if you were in the right setting for exactly um, your presentation, people still wouldn't want you. You would still screw something up. It's like um, it's a branch of awkwardness. It's, it's decided that you are awkward in every setting you are awkward. And you are crazy awkward. That's just what uh, is echoing here. I start to see go goofiness, okay? It would be like, um, uh, I don't know, Cinderella has a really bad sense of humor. Like, um, she looks perfect, but then she opens her mouth and she sounds like a donkey and she farts in public and nobody expected that because she's so flawless. And you are really awkward. That's what energetically is presenting itself here. And 
and you're crying because you can't change yourself. You can't change. I don't know if any of this is real, though. I mean, maybe you need to own it. Like, maybe... Okay, that's not easy either. This is... You're, you're trying to show me that this is what you're struggling with when it comes to turning driftwood into the big pirate ship. You're just, like... You're struggling with your awkward self. This is what it comes to, this fear, and your business is in this, and then you're trying to break out of this. It's the same thing. Okay, so I'm, I'm a, okay, so I see this stress step in the process here. It's, I mean, self love is a part of it. So, but I think it goes deeper than this. But let's let's see what what your higher self wants to share next. Okay, <clears throat> negative self talk. It's just you breaking yourself down. You're like chipping away at the iceberg of yourself. There's going to be nothing left by the time you're done with yourself. You're just chipping away at yourself. <clears throat> and if other people aren't doing it, you might as well be doing it for them because that is your worth and value. So, yeah. Okay. I think we're starting to get to a deep place here. We're starting to understand something here. Okay, that, that's, we're taking off the shell here. We're starting to expose you. <sighs> you, you seem to, I mean, I think this is a normal human behavior, but you kind of looking at other people and you see that they are so good and things come so easily for them. But then you look at yourself and say, there's nothing, um, I, I can't, it's like, I, I'm struggling like it's it's like a dyslexic person knowing how to read um, without conflict. You know what I mean? So this there seems to be this um, this flaw. Like you you were born flawed, and and other people were not. And that this is also um, a criticism of yourself. Because let's say that this dyslexic person, there was nothing wrong with them. I mean, would the education system, how would they treat a dyslexic person if they have to learn how to read? I mean, these are challenges that, that people face. And this is like, life has challenges that we have to face and we have to grow somehow. We have to conquer this somehow. Maybe a dyslexic person could become a very good artist because they were better at um, interpreting with pictures than they were with words. So is a one problem is, um, is the stepping stone to another um, like solution. You know what I mean? So maybe we need to find out where your problems um, can be transformed into solutions for you. Because I, I don't feel like you would be critical if um, if things were in motion. You, you had something to confirm for you, or if things were in motion, it would be confirming of yourself, be confirming of your business, it'd be confirming of um, things are in motion in a, in a successful way. There is, a, there must, I mean, there is a lot of unresolve here about the heart and the emotional body. And it's about how you matter, basically, how you fit in, how you are interpreted by the outside world. Interesting that you run a business because you're going to have to have confidence to have su a successful business. But that would be... Um, to me, it just what I'm looking at here is confidence would be one of your greatest challenges. So um, I think that you're doing a great job with your life lessons. I mean, you gave yourself the perfect um, predicament, right, to work on confidence. And if you could have a successful business, then it would prove that you were doing a good job with your lesson, with confidence. I feel like you you chose the right ingredients or the right flaws, you could say, that would convince you. The flaws would be just like um, 
demons like they just like the flaws are like the demons that are convincing you on your shoulder that you're, you're never any good you're never going to do better than this you're the worst you know all these things but really the flaws are actually what makes you a gem makes you shine um, bright and in a unique way and so we got to turn the flaws into um, your special spice you know what i mean and when the flaws turn into your special spice you you you're going to feel a lot better about everything in your life, about yourself, your business. It's interesting because uh, sometimes um, the words we use kind of like, um, you know, uh, want to raise the vibration of a business, want to work with a higher self. Um, you know, we want more financial flow and the, you know, a money forecast and all that. It, it, isn't it interesting how these words are, it's like other words that would define you for yourself as um, like safe and secure and successful and and then to accomplish that you you discover that you are in the perfect lesson working with the perfect ingredients of flaws um, in order to build the confidence that is the um, I guess the success is the raising vibration and in, in the confidence right of yourself is the success that turns the driftwood into the pirate ship okay hmm you're you're actually on board um interesting use words but i see you're on board the pirate ship you're on board the ship but you don't know how to sail it and you don't have a crew and oh man this is empty this there's emptiness oh Okay, radiating is emptiness. This is harsh. This is harsher than the beautiful Cinderella at the high school dance. That's not, that freaking sounds like a donkey and is farting. Like, it's and nobody, she's stupid. Why should you do this? It's like, I was like looking at it like, dang. And then we have this pirate ship is empty and... Okay, we are, we are working our way there. We've gone from driftwood to pirate ship, but now we've got the next conundrum, okay? Where do you belong on the ship? Where do you... Hmm... You're in tears. No wonder I'm attracted to water. Is it, again, I was talking about neutrality and emotion because it feels like there's a lot in the way of emotion that needs to be felt or is maybe felt too much. It just, I mean, I see you are in tears here. Almost like the whole ocean is your tears. And there's so much shame and embarrassment. You're a fool. You're... Oh boy, how will you gain confidence if you're picking away at the iceberg, you're chipping away at yourself? No wonder you're struggling. Like, no wonder you want to raise a vibration because this would be a struggle. Oh. I, I am... I'm just creating space basically in time for you to process your emotions because you're devastated. You're full of devastation. You, you represent like your middle name is devastation. I, I keep thinking about being cut down to size, cut you down to size, cutting you down to size again and again, cutting you down to size until you're nothing but a little piece of driftwood and you still try, you're still trying to be a big ship in the ocean, but you're just a dumb little stupid little dumb piece of driftwood. 
cutting you down to size you are you cutting yourself down are the people in your life cutting you down is it both maybe you're attracted to being cut down maybe you need more proof that you've been reduced to nothing you <clears throat> need regular reminders that you're reduced to nothing hmm. i feel sad for you because Okay, okay, my guys are, are saying just, it's like, I keep hearing to give you a money forecast, okay, for 2022, but I just, I have to give you a hug right now, and I have to fill your pirate ship with the, the, with people. Let's say this is your business, and I'm seeing people see you, see your pirate ship, they think it's awesome, um, I see the tears are already starting to dry up and you radiate like um, a lot. You have a really bright um, energy, actually. You kind of um, flip like a coin because once the people are on the ship and you're not alone and you feel like there's value to you and people see you in a, va in a way that you feel valued, you instantly like feel like you you did something right for once okay <laughs> it's like you give yourself room that maybe i'm doing something right <laughs> i like seeing that i don't know what to make of the ship though in the desert but there are people on the ship and there's no more tears so I feel like let's bring kind of like a cosmic um, energy into this um, to support the growth of the world around you okay and maybe this pirate ship turns into something else. Maybe it turns into home, a home or something, like a, a beautiful house where you welcome people in to have hot cups of tea and, and some special cookies or something. It just feels like a warmer, more comfortable, more um, meaningful exchanges. And you don't feel intimidated by the exchanges. You feel uh, healthy. You feel healthy. And you feel... Um, balanced here so i i really like this scene it actually this pirate ship and the people the ocean dries up turns into a desert but i bring the cosmic support the cosmic love in and it's just like giving you that edge that you're not having to be responsible for everything like let's let some cosmic support come in and then i start to see all the boards of the pirate ship start to build themselves into a nice comfortable house nice little porch um, people are inside the house now and you're having nice exchanges with them and everything feels really homey, okay? Really homey and comfortable and pleasant, really pleasant. All right, so what what is it, okay, what is it that your higher self, what is the rest of 2022, what does it look like? Now that we've done this energy work and some perspective for you and your business, I will say you feel a lot brighter in your heart and it just gives you a more of an edge of perspective here. Okay, what's the outlook look like for the rest of this year? Okay, hold on. Just a minute. Well, I guess it all depends because this is, okay, this is a whole other story. I started to see side, a sidewalk up here and I see kids with chalk and creating like a hopscotch scenario, okay? And they're I'm throwing the rock and they're hopping and I can't remember how you play this exactly, but they're using all different colors. Like there's neon pink and there's green and there's orange and there's yellow and there's blue and there's boxes and it goes along the sidewalk and there's kids playing hopscotch. Somehow the sidewalk and you are separated. So you're kind of looking in through like a window in a way, but you look like you're kind of like a ghost apparition. And you're part of the wind, really. This, this is another thing. This is, uh, this is part of the driftwood energy. This is part of the ocean of tears energy. 
This is a part of the devastation, which is your middle name. It has to do with, with children energy, inner child energy, could be memories from your upbringing, memories of other kids, family. Um, it's, it's about, let me just watch here. Okay, th this is a this is a forecast, a money forecast for 2022. Because I started to see that you are are being moved in, and you are welcome to play this game. You are not um, not picked. Okay, you you are welcome to play this game. You don't have to wait for someone to say that you could play. You actually can play this game. You don't have to sit, stand outside, you know, or sit on the bleacher or whatever. You're actually welcome to play this game. And you're asked to and expected to play this game. Like your higher self is eyeballing you like you will play this game and stop saying you're not worthy of playing this game. That's why I was called to tell you it, it's all up to you how, how this pans out. Because if you're going to participate and actually participate in playing this game or participate as, as a confident player in your own business... Um, then it seems to me like there's going to be an obvious um, positive outcome. But if you're not worthy and you stay in the land of, of tears and separation and all the other kids are playing but you're not allowed to play and you decided that, then this is going to be tough for you, okay? But I, I can feel what kind of um, gusto it's going to take for you to to play the game. I mean, you have got a lot to overcome here when it comes to your yourself and your heart and your value. I see that the kids notice you now and they, they're they happy to have another player and you're surprised by this. You were sure they wouldn't want you to play with them. You were sure of it. And you're surprised that anybody would want to play with you. Why would anybody want to play with you? Ah, uh, it makes me so sad. You're playing and you're laughing and everything's starting to quickly disappear. I mean, just like a child, like you're forgetting everything that you were afraid of. You're forgetting everything. You're actually just focusing on having fun and the strategy and just meeting some new people. And it seems like your world's quite small and you really want to expand it because I see that there's just a really small section of sidewalk and I see that we need to expand it to the whole community or the whole world and you're working with very small section of space, okay? And I mean... <laughs> You were crying in an energy space looking through a window at all the kids playing and you're not allowed to play, but you never actually tried to just participate. You just assumed that you weren't welcome. Now we're moving you from that sort of like purgatory into here activity, you are welcome. And then people like you, right? And now this feels good. Now we need to expand the borders here because we don't want any of these weird purgatory places because we have the whole world. You I mean, you have the whole world. Do you see about the importance of confidence? You have lessons here when it comes to confidence. This is no doubt. It's almost like no matter what you're doing in your life, it is all, this is the perfect, um, these are the perfect flawed ingredients, the perfect saturation of emotional challenges to make it almost impossible that we would be able to raise the vibration, and create success for your business. But actually that's not true because it, it's like when you figure out how to conquer this lesson, it's got an inevitable outcome because once you figure out that confidence thing, it's like it's got an inevitable outcome and it's going to be really if you if you do not though, if you if you let all of this pain suck you in and and swallow you and digest you, you will remain in a purgatory of loss, okay? You're going to stay the driftwood and you're not ever going to arrive and you, it's going to be, you're going to have a lot of reason to continue to chip away at yourself, which is your comfort zone. It's not easy to break that comfort zone, okay? But you can break that comfort zone 
participate and play the game and then expand these boundaries. There's, there's no boundaries for you, okay? All right, so now that we've accomplished that, there's no boundaries. I want to stay with just another minute here. Okay. We, we're definitely making strides, but there's a next um, conflict, okay? I'm just going to tell you this. There aren't any boundaries. Like, so now we see the whole neighborhood, okay, basically. And there you are playing with the kids, and you're like a kid yourself, and it's actually a lot of fun, and you're so glad you did this. But now your brain and your wheels are turning like, oh, but this is like a metaphor for my business. And now how do I figure this whole neighborhood out? Oh my God, crunch. You're getting like sucked into um, chipping away at the possibilities because this is overwhelming you. Like it's instantaneously overwhelming when we move from just a section of sidewalk to what, what's just a street with some houses on it. Um, so we really need to learn how to grow and expand, okay? Your higher self is saying that I need to give something to you. And your higher self wants me to define... Um... <laughs> I'll explain here in a second. It's kind of... Basically, all right, if I were to put a monetary value on um, you, the success of just you as a human being conquering human life, how much would you have, how much money in your bank should there be? <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this on. Okay, let me see. I mean, I can, I can tell, I can tell what this path is looking like and I can tell that it has been absolutely difficult um, because I'm supposed to give you, uh, I'm supposed to give you something. I'm trying to, I'm waiting for it to come to me what specifically it is. Because it seems to me like I'm supposed to give you the concept of giving you money, okay? Like giving you, um, this is legit. This is totally legit. I mean, and I, but I, I'm not allowed to just say something like, here's a billion dollars. No, I'm not allowed to say that. I actually have to find out what's inside myself and define it for you and then give that to you. I know what it is. Um, okay, because, because money is really, so, let's say money didn't, money was something else. Let's say money was, um, garden of, of blossoming flowers and full bloom and health. Um, money is a farm that is, that is dead and you have no food to eat for the whole rest of the, the winter. You're all going to die. Okay. So if money doesn't equate to like the change or the green stuff, right, or we're looking at it in another way. Then let's just say this is the farm that's dead, like drought. Okay, everybody's gonna die, or like it's a, it's a garden. It's the most beautiful, thriving garden I've ever seen, and I feel like I'm, I feel just amazing being in it. Okay, and what I'm supposed to give you, I can tell inside myself what it is. It has to do with um, something was given to you, that is like the the farm that that nothing grew. Okay. And it didn't have anything to do with money. It had everything to do with you were given something that, that defined then that you were the worthless farm and everybody's going to die. But somewhere in there was you knew that you weren't that. However, you lived with the burden of being that because someone gave that to you and you received it. You took it and put it in your pocket and you've had it in your pocket. It's been your lucky coin for years. That awful farm that died and everybody died like that is the coin that is your token of good luck that is not good so i have to give you the i have to to undo that event okay that is what i'm gonna give you so let me see i keep seeing a child that is smiling and you're a red hot air balloon 
and there's no rope that holds you to the ground. You're actually in the hot air balloon and they, they let the rope go and you're in the sky and you're just amazed at this experience. Like you're a little kid and you're amazed at this experience and you're so excited to be having this experience right now. And it's all there is. It's all there ever was. It's all there ever will be. It's just like the awe and the inspiration and this this fresh new sensation of of excitement and life can be new again and I never thought it could be like this and what an interesting experience and how strange to be not in a plane but in a hot air balloon what a strange thing and now I can see what's at the top of the mountains and what the air tastes like up here and I'm just a little person I'm having in it taking all of this in and this is now what I am giving you because it's it's taking this chunk of time of the driftwood and that chunk of time is being replaced with nothing but you were able to receive how much people loved and appreciated you. That that was always what was there. You see, that was always what was there. That was always what was there and you were always welcome to play. You were always welcome to talk and participate and you were always worth listening to. You always had wonderful things to say and people appreciated that about you. Like this is what we're transforming this section of your life. Because this does not have to be a grueling and difficult um, forever more the, the, the challenge of confidence because it, it's like kind of long overdue that you, you've done it, you did what you need to do, you, you worked on all the hard stuff. And now we're at the quantum leap event where you, you are now living in the hot air balloon of your success, okay? As your business is in this whole experience and it's freeing and you have the whole world now and you're not afraid of that. And the whole world would, had accepted you all along and had loved you all along and you weren't the drought that destroyed everybody's life. You actually were the amazing, magnificent um, event of the hot air balloon. Do you see? And now I see you in the neighborhood and I, this is so comfortable and relaxed. It's almost like there never was a, like a little bit of a shimmy shake in there. Yeah, so that's, that's what I meant to share with you. This is a really fun to experience that. I mean, I feel a lot of energy and pulsating in my heart right now. I feel the fresh air. I feel like a brand new experience. I don't feel um, like afraid of where I'm headed. I don't sense any echoes like that. So that's really good. We've conquered a lot of stuff. I feel like you could own it, that it was already happening, <sighs> that there's no shell anymore around you or your business, that you're free. Hmm, pretty cool. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. Again, any of you interested in exploring a session, go to my website, abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right, have a great day, everybody.